This is Andy, the Game Maker, for, with the Fun and Victorious podcast on my program today. I have an old friend of mine, old classmate of mine from West Point. Her name is Julia Waring. And Julia, would you mind taking a brief moment to introduce yourself? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, Julia Waring. We graduated from West Point class of 2008. Um, I was commissioned as an engineer officer, did my five years, um, and then got out in 2013. Um, when I got out, I actually ended up doing the same thing in the, in the civilian world. So I worked for the United States Army Corps of Engineers, um, pretty much doing the exact same role. Um, but also I got out and I a passion that I didn't know I had for bodybuilding. Um, so full-time engineer, um, full-time bodybuilder. Um, I'm also in ministry. Um, I'm exhorted in the Church of God. Um, so yeah, that's in a nutshell, the 60 second rundown of who I am. So thank that's you awesome. for having me, Andy. No, it, it's just, it's just, just so great to get reacquainted with you again. I, um, I know we haven't really spoken a whole lot over the past couple of years, or several years as we were both chatting up before we uh, started recording uh, since like graduation basically. But um, I'm, I'm glad we we're at least able to stay in, in touch like with Facebook and, and what have you. So uh, if you don't mind, um, so what, so, uh, I guess the best way to, to kick off this conversation is like, what, what was like your, your general army experience when you, when you're commissioned as a commission officer, like, like, de- like what were your deployments? Like what, what, what were your like major, major job, job assignments? Right. So literally before we graduated, my new commander emailed me and was like, we're on our way to Iraq. So you'll meet us there. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, graduate <laughs> yep. went through my schooling, OBC, um, engineer basic ended up doing about a two week or maybe it was a one week um, ben, um through benning to prepare me to literally deploy by myself oh wow um so i found my way to iraq literally by myself and i remember i was in kuwait and i was just like sleeping in a tent for two days and this guy came around i was like hey do y'all have a plane going to iraq and he was like sure just jump on i'm like okay so um get there when i finally got there my initial mission i was told was going to be patrolling so I was like, wow, patrolling. So I'm like, you know, infantry one-on-one going through my handbook, trying to get my life together so I can be focused to be trolling the streets of Iraq. But um, once I got there, I got changed to heavy construction. Um, so I was a female platoon leader, pretty much all platoon. I had two females, but they weren't always with us when we went outside the wire. So that was an interesting part, going to a, a unit where I knew absolutely no one mm-hmm. and then ended up being a female platoon leader for all male platoon. So it was interesting. We lived in pretty austere conditions. Um, our main project, I remember, was building up a JSS, um, I think it was Joint Security Station mm-hmm. for Fort Hood infantry unit. So when we get there, half of, it was like a thousand Iraqis already living there. So we're building up the other half for the infantry soldiers. <clears throat> so I was literally like the only female other than a couple of um, log- logisticians that were doing like the mills and stuff. Um, no bathrooms, no showers. So we would do like the old school water bottle showers. Like I had that Iraq, Iraq experience. It was pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was like, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was, For sure. it was, it was, yeah. I was like, um, <clears throat> I had no desire to go on another deployment, at least sometime soon. <laughs> um, so get back. And I was actually in this like rare engineer battalion or rare engineer company at Fort Rucker, Alabama. The mm. only none aviation unit there we got back and they was like we don't need you out here anymore so they was like you have a, a choice you can go back to our home battalion in fort polk and i was like no not happening i didn't sign up to go to fort polk um and then i called my branch manager and she was like i can get you to hawaii so i was like i'm there right i'm there so i ended up in doing the rest of my time in hawaii about three and a half years um and it was amazing like i was an engineer the entire time and i really got to um, do my job as engineer. So it was a lot of constructions. Um, when I was in Hawaii, that was the most rewarding because most of our missions were building schools and clinics and underserved communities in Asia. So I spent a lot of time in Thailand, a lot of time in the Philippines. Um, I oh, got wow. to go to Mongolia, Korea. Um, so it was really a really, really awarding, rewarding experience. I think I had like a hundred thousand miles. I was like getting Jeez, up yeah. grades the first class. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, wow. I, yeah, it was nice. And people were like, so you really want to get out? And I was like, the Army would never get better than this. Like, I appreciate the Army, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but I wanted to be on the more technical side of engineering. So that's why I ended up getting out in um, 2013. So, wow. Wow. yeah, I had 
how to get experience. 